Hello test takers and welcome back to exam prep solutions. Today we're going to be going over a flow net problem that could fall under geotechnical. It could also fall under maybe even water resources. But we're going to be going into how to find the flow in a flow net situation, how to determine NF, how to determine the number of drops uh, in that flow net. So go ahead, try and attempt this problem before I go over the solution. We also have a free guide, the five steps to solving any FE exam problem. It's 100% free. Just go to the description box there and tell us where to send it. Anyways, let's read the problem statement. We have find the flow CFS through the flow net of the following structure with a coefficient of permeability 4 inches per hour. The water table height is 11 feet and the datum is 0. So from the equation we have here for flow nets, we don't have Q yet. So Q equals K, which is 4 inches per hour, which we're going to have to do a conversion on. And the water table height is 11 feet. The datum's at 0. So we can just go with 11 there multiplied by NF over the number of drops. That's our ratio there. So first I want to convert four inches per hour into feet per second, right? So four divided by 12, that's 0.333 feet per hour, right? And now I want to do feet per second. So we're going to do that divided by 3,600 for the conversion. That's going to equal 0 0.0001. So I have 0 0.0001 multiply by 11 times we still don't have this ratio yet and I'll show you how to determine that here so NF over ND so we have this diagram here I don't know if you get that on your uh, FE exam manual but I just want to show you here for reference going this way is the number uh, is the NF value and then going this way is the number of drops and so you can see it counted here one two three four five six seven eight and then the NF value is going this way down uh, to the to the floor here so one two three four so if we have this diagram here, let's determine the number of drops first. One, two, three. Then we're going to have four, five, six, and seven. So we have seven as the number of drops. Then NF equals here. That mean, that's going from the bottom up. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five. So we have five there. So we have this equation set up 0.0001 times 11 times the ratio. 5 divided by 7. All of our units are correct. That gives us the final answer of 0 0.0008. And so it looks like this is actually a typo here. Um, that's going to be answer A in this case. So just to go through the process, for finding the flow, we need to make sure the coefficient of permeability is in the correct units, determine the height, then determine the NF value and the number of drops given this situation here or given this reference of the flow net and then it can help you find your answer. So if you have any questions, let me know in a comment down below. I'd be happy to answer it or any videos you'd like to see covered. Anyways, we'll see you guys next time.